The case of Ingram v. Wright was in 1977. To start off, in 1970, James Ingram, a 14-year-old student at Charles R. Drew Middle School, had broken a rule. So he was sent to the principal's office to receive his punishment, and when he went there, the principal instructed him to bend over so he could be paddled for his um, offense. When James refused to bend over, he was placed in that position forcibly by the principal and was paddled multiple times to the point that he had to go to the doctor because it was so severe. The doctor ordered him to be at home for 11 days of mandatory rest. The family sued the school on grounds of the punishment violating the Eighth Amendment and as well the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. Well, this case made it to the Supreme Court, and the court ruled a 5-4 to four decision. The court said that this did not violate the Eighth Amendment because that does not prevent schools from administering punishment because the law applies to criminals and not children um, that are in school. The court also ruled that Florida law about corporal punishment was in line with the due process requirements under the 14th Amendment. I think it's important for me to know this um, case because it applies to school children like me. Um, it's something I wouldn't have expected when reading this case would have turned out this way, and I think it's made me learn more about what amendments um, apply to people of my age and apply to certain situations.